That's it. Huge hook lands. Uppercut. Right. Oh, Another one shot. from Curtis. Oh, that one hurt him. The beginning of the end here, maybe, for Fialia, who dives for a takedown, but ends up settling to try and pull guard. And ground and pound from Chris Curtis. Can the action man finish with one minute left? One bonus point on the line here if he can finish this in this round. Andre Fialio doing his best to just survive here from the bottom. Referee close near a stoppage here. If Fialio can't improve. Curtis lands two of the Look at stepping in here. Not a lot of defense going on. Fialio maybe has given us the ball. That's it. Eve Levine steps in. Eve Levine steps in, and the action man gets four points in the PFL welterweight division. We saw the crowd kind of pump Chris Curtis up. He stayed on the outside. He had the range down perfectly, and he Patience. landed that left hand. Look how patient he was. He smelled it. He saw. He knew he had him hurt. The end. Fialio has given it as much as he can give it, and Chris Curtis pounds him out. Eve Levine intervenes. Great control here by Glyco Franza. As you mentioned, Randy, he's got the, he had the bottom leg isolated. And now a little two-on-one here from Hamzat to try and work his way back up. Glyco will attempt to Another hook in grab now. a hook. Oh, he's got that armor. Is it under the chin, Eve? It's so close. That Let's looks, see. That looks, that looks see. like it's a nice attack. Beautiful job by Glyco Franca. Franca. Huge, huge six-point victory for Glyco Franca. He saw the blood dripping from something as comes out tap. A touch of the gloves and we'll get started. Nice jab, Sadabusi. Touch of the gloves and then he touched him with that glove. Oh. Huge body kick by Sadabusi. The shot is down and hurt badly. Got it in the liver. And the Sadabusi pounds it out. Wow. In 17 seconds. Wow. Huge body kick to start that fight, and that's all we needed. Inside leg kick, and that's all it takes. That's it. Oh. Liver shot, left kick right to the liver. Casually strolls up and finishes the job. David Michaud's still in a lot of pain here. There's just not a lot you can do. But Sarah Kaufman is in control right now. She's looking for that head and arm. She's got that arm triangle potentially. She'll have to climb out of the mount position to get it. And, and she there she goes. Now she's going to crop gonna her get tight. Circle away. Morgan Fryer's got to talk down. on the phone. She's got to get that hand by her ear. She's got the blood her. flowing to her head. Those punches from the bottom, Randy. Not the correct defense here. No, not at all. Sarah's, Sarah needs to stare There's a the tap. Sarah Kaufman inside of the first round. Experience paying its dividends there for the highly decorated Sarah Kaufman. Cooper drags Kamaka back down and ends up in mount. Ooh, this is dangerous. This could be very bad. Oh, Chuck oh now Chuck Ray, 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 and it's in. The it's tap. in, and there's the tap. <laughs> Cooper almost didn't want to let go of that Didn't choke. want to let go, and Eve Levine doing a good job here in intervening. Ray Cooper needs to be careful. The New York State Athletic Commission does Should not take kindly to post-fight antics. First time I've seen Ray Cooper submit someone. He gets to this mounted position, and when Zane turns his back, Ray slides that arm across the neck right away, immediately. It's the best time to slide that, that, that choke in, and he just clamps down on it. But look, he doesn't want to let go. He does not like his cousin. As soon as Howard turns away and tries to elevate, Mega Man elevates the bottom leg, and it's, it prevents John Howard from getting up. Oh, Big that was a body shot. And a right hand and a left landed. Howard may be in trouble here very late. And there's, there's a guillotine. guillotine. We've seen this. Mounts that guillotine rolls to him. He's got it deep. That's very deep. Can Howard Short hold on? Ten, ten seconds. seconds. Oh, he the taps. Ten. He taps. Oh. Maga sneaks in the late guillotine, and we saw that be deadly for him in season one. There are a lot of times these last-second 
submission attempts. They're just kind of Hail Marys, and you don't expect much out of them. For Maga, we have to expect it now. Yeah, he got an extra point out of it. Should, if that was, I mean, if he was able to affect that in the second round. No touch of the gloves here. Front kick to start things from Damon Jackson. Oh, huge knee! Dropped him with the flying knee. Oh my gosh! Mavlin Hybulayev with a flying knee knocks out Damon Jackson and makes a statement in his professional fighters league debut. Oh my goodness, E! Wow! My mouth, my mouth dropped with Damon Jackson. I was just sitting here with my mouth standing open. I can't believe what I just saw. And I've seen a lot of fights. Congratulations. Restart of action after a brief pause there. Nice punch lands there, and another kick from Lauren Chino. The left hand Kennedy's lands. Hurt. Kennedy's hurt. Kennedy's hurt. He's out. Luis Rafael Lauren Chino. Kennedy's last one, the referee. He steps up in competition. He answers the call. Improves his record to 34 and one, and gains six points in the featherweight standings. Looking for a shoulder choke here, and now he's got the back of Bao Yin Chong and the neck. And that's deep. That forearm's under the neck Big of Bao Yin Chong, and there's the tap. Nathan Schultz starts his quest back to another championship with six points in season two. The rear naked choke for Nathan Schultz. Your lightweight champion. Huge punch by Aliyev, displaying the power, and Silva is out. The stoppage against the cage. Ahmed Aliyev, six points in the lightweight standings in a successful American debut. Started that off with a big right hand, and, and Silva wasn't out. Silva wanted to get back up and fight his way back to, to contention, but... And walk us through this one, Randy. Big overhand right, drops him. He starts to come back up, he catches the left hook on his way up, and then it's a flurry of punches, and Silva was in no shape to continue. Big overhand right, right on the chin. Down he goes. There's a little bit of a mental situation playing here because obviously this guy's beat you before. I always felt like the onus is on the guy that won the first. Ooh, big, big right hand. Big right hand. Spawn's in trouble. Powerful exchanges here. is in big trouble. Dan Spawn in trouble here. Can he recover? Efficient top strikes from Ataev. The referee right there on top of the action. Spawn trying to tie things up. The mouthpiece comes out. Avenging the loss from season one with a knockout. Quick six for Bozikita Daya. He hurt Spawn and then was just able to barrage him with those punches. He he was defending a leg attack and at the same time still throwing big punches. This is bad. Mark's pounding away on the head. Dan Mergliato telling him to watch for the back and the illegal blows. Sigi Pensalele in serious trouble. And that's enough. Dan Mergliata waves it off. Ronnie Marks, an unpleasant welcome for Sigi Pensalele. Second round finish for Marks. No points for Ronnie Marks because he did not make weight. So he wasn't quitting. The referee didn't see a way that he was going to get out of that, though, and that position is not one you want to leave a man in for too long. Ziggy was able to fight back, but Hani just poured on the punches. He knows the position. He knows, knew what he needed to do, and he just kept throwing punches until Dan Mergliata stepped in there and called the fight. Back to the cage. We got to be aggressive there. Goltsov is definitely respecting Marshall's wrestling takedowns. Oh, bring the right hand. Oh, oh clip, clip there. Rossoff's in trouble. Goltsov! Looks to finish Jared Rochelle. Dan Mergliata steps in. And it's six points in his debut for Dennis Goldsoff after dropping Jared Rochelle. Was that a check hook? It happened so quick. It was a check hook. It's exactly what it was. Rochelle using that head fake 
to keep uh, Goltz off, off balance because he wasn't sure if he was going to shoot or throw punches. And he did that little head fake, a little change, and a little left check hook caught him right on the chin. Almost out. To let him there go. There he's oh, out. Oh, oh, he's out. He's going to use it to the sweep, though. He's going to roll with it. He's got to go all the way over. And it's on. Right. Now he's on top. It's still on. Uh -oh. He's waiting to tap. He's waiting to, really to tap. The ref is on the wrong side. He can't see that arm. Repelling needs... himself as the referee. Uh, there's the tap. There's the tap. There's the tap. tap, tap, there's tap, tap, tap. Oh my gosh. Submission victory. Nasty Kimura for Kelvin Tiller. That was tenacious. He was on that like a rat on a Cheeto. He was not letting that go. Nice combination. Moving off center line is Sorty. Then he's starting to have trouble defending himself here. Sorty putting on a bit of a clinic here. Body shot. I Uppercut. Hook. Emiliano Sorty. I agree. Dan Mergliata calls a stop agree. to this fight. I agree. Emiliano Sorty with a second round finish in five pounds. Five points, excuse me. Over last season's finalist. I guess I got a souvenir. I got Sorty's mouthpiece. I'm not sure I want it. He threw it right in front of the cage at us. <laughs> I'm glad it went to you. Clinical striking performance put on by Emiliano Sorty.